I'm curious if they'll be able to. Hey! <sighs> you don't need to spend any money in this game, bro. Just, just, just be lucky. That's it. Doing that gives me two blockers with barrier. Like that is so strong. Uh, you the one dying. You the one get dead. Did get the midnight raid. I target her so she gets barrier. That that's what we are talking. About. Look at that, man. Time for round two, you savages. Um, we're gonna put Warwick away. We figured that out. We're, we're getting closer to it. I got some plans for Warwick. I think I can make him a little bit better, but I actually think he's really good once you actually figure all this out. But, you know, I was just on that screen. So let's change it up. Let's change it up. Where's baby girl or baby mama? Wait, what? <laughs> what are we doing? Um, so let's unlock her. We got some things here. Uh, I have to go buy her thing. This was actually for, for, you know what, you know what's really cute? Can I talk to you guys for a second? Come here. Come on, come close to the fire. For it being, because you have the battle pass, right? And then you have the two relics. I always buy the relics, I always buy the battle pass. So for me, it's like, this is, I'm starting to spend more money on the game, and it's like the quality is going down. And that's a really annoying feeling, I'd have to say, right? I, I feel like, I feel like you, if you're going to start spending more money, you kind of want it to be that, you know, you're getting more value you're, if you're going to start spelling 30 40 $50. Um, as you guys know, these are like 10 bucks. 90 is about 10 bucks, And it just, it's, it's a little, it's a little annoying, I have to say. Um, but I still like the relics. I like to get the battle pass. But when they say that they're, you know, they're increasing all this stuff and, uh, you know what, let's, do Ambessa, let's do, oh God, I end up like that guy in the background of her stuff, but we'll do, a, I'll do a separate video on that because these, these scale up ones and stuff like that actually kind of bother me. It's, these are mobile game tactics. And if you're, if you're trying to monetize the game to that degree, uh, but we're, we're not getting more value out of what you're doing, it looks really bad. Uh, maybe, and someone told me I had to watch, I think Snoopy did an interview with one of the developers and maybe I, maybe I'll react to that and then give my points on whatever they're saying. You guys let me know if you're interested in that. But let us enjoy some Ambasa. Ambasa, Ambasa, yes. What are we getting into? So we have this one, so we unlock that. When an ally attacks, grant allies with the same one, that, and then now we're gonna get the conscription one, which is cool, right here. Wait, I didn't even unlock that one. I lied, okay, so we do have that. Okay, boom, and then we have two. And now, see, what, what happened is that in the battle pass, I didn't unlock that one, so and Bess is gonna have a little bit more fun. She's just gonna hurt. We're gonna get, we're gonna, as we attack, we don't just get the A. We're also gonna go get the D. So we're getting the D at the same time we're getting the A. You know what I'm saying? So we have that advantage. So, so we're gonna have a little, a slightly better experience with Ambassador than we're gonna have with Warwick. But it's still gonna be from level one, and I'm gonna do the same thing because I really just want to level them up to begin with. I don't. We don't really mess with greens, really. So uh, we're just gonna give it the good old college try, uh, as you tell. 58 of these, 37 of these. You kind of just collect them over time, uh, and then you, you only need like three or four at a, at a clip anyway. So we're just gonna go there, and we're gonna do the same thing. Um, I tried to do weeklies. I tried to do. You think? You guys think maybe maybe she could beat it? And I can't do it. So she got farther than I thought, and we learned a lot. We learned a lot, I'd say. She got way farther than I thought. What I'm gonna do is that we're just gonna, I'm not gonna do it twice. I'm just gonna go straight to the uh, to the Nautilus. But I learned a lot. So we what we learned is that you definitely wanna create a board and you kinda wanna trade a little bit. See the difference is like Warwick, you can kinda trade and, and it benefits you like slightly, right? But this one you need to be attacking. So you kinda wanna focus on your ability to trade. So I think that whoa, whoa, whoa. so I think that with the ability to trade and then attack on the following turn and then potentially stun a unit that's in front of you, it's it's definitely not I feel like as interesting as Warwick. I think when you actually consider the game plan, I know that we look through the things and then like some of the bonus like yeah target and I get barrier. That's how she survives right there. So Phalax, then that her hit, whole midnight raid thing is fine if, because you're always gonna just target her. She gets barrier again and you're fine to go. But yeah, this is the one, and this is every time you do that, you just kill the back row. Kill it, actually. Don't even, it's not even that it gets challenged or anything, that it straight up just dies. So yeah, definitely need some levels here so we can get our cards to be a little bit better. Let's see how she fares on the first try. Well, I can even do this, but it's like 0.5, that's nothing. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see if she get, how she feels against the same thing. Run! 
Start! Yes! And we'll, we'll, I'm curious if they'll be able to, hey! <sighs> you don't need to spend any money in this game, bro. Just, just, just be lucky. That's it. We have Felix now, so boom, let's, let's get attacking. Hey, look at this guy. Stun, I like that. He didn't pop up in anything that I was doing. Literally, I, I was just playing. I did not see this card whatsoever, not even once. So, I could do this and then the cutting sweep is another option I can have to pre uh, prevent the damage. But I'll just take the two damage right now. And we could freely attack with Rictus uh, without having to worry about too much. But it depends on what he actually does here. I could make another Rictus. You know what? Let's make another one. I like that. Exact copy. Oh my god, Felix is going to be nuts. So, I should stun both of these. Yeah, this is bread and butter right here. This is definitely bread and butter. We could drop her. If he attacks on anything, that's just bad. And it is, in fact, just bad. All right, we midnight raid. Uh, might as well attack her. It doesn't really matter. So the weekly is just hard. You know, that wasn't a... Yeah, what's crazy about having more than one of these is that it just makes your attack insane. Because now he only has one blocker. I can disable two blockers on open, which is insane. I don't even need to pull it. Da that, uh, with the, with the, <laughs> that's kind of nuts. Rictus alone could probably end like a higher challenge if you just invest purely on Rictus. <laughs> uh, what what is this brother what it what is this uh hex Keck foundry to draw more rictus i like that uh actually the minion is not that bad because of the fact that everything everyone's a legion marauder everyone's a legion marauder so salter get evelyn in uh viego is actually not that bad if we can if we can get the encroaching risk uh miss kind of pop it off um evelyn makes really no sense at all uh, Rumble, Rumble, look at the rumbling. I, I feel like Viego is not that bad, actually. What a dynamic duo, though. Uh, let's get the money. We're staying. We're, we're good now. We're good. I feel. I feel perfect. Viego's already in the building. Cutting strike. We're gonna replace everything for Rictus. I, <laughs> the real champion here is Rictus. Oh, come on. I, I already could see the problem I'm going to have in uh, the Lissandra run is me re-rolling like a madman. I'm definitely going to re-roll like a madman in, in, a, in a Lissandra fight. Alright, so I could duplicate that, but... And it's uh, this conscription is going to be really good on... On cards like this that summon another unit. A lot of uh, ability to... That's just, yeah, super strong. Uh, I mean, I guess it's in case he wants to do a bad block. I mean, a bad attack. We were ready for it. This goes down to one anyway. And that gets consumed in there. I can literally do... I mean, definitely just messed up the program with my conscription. Kind of nuts. I have to kill the unit, though. And without being able to kill something, it's kind of sucky. Got something for him. Uh, I could Kamikaze here, too. And then start making plays for Viego instead. That is another option that I have. I could win the game. Well, bro, just... Sometimes I wish I had a little birdie in my ear. I'm, I'm just like wasting so much time thinking and it's already game. Oh, you know what? And I still get the my night. Wait, did she have a voice line? Abandoned ship? Or was that the thing I killed? Oh, yeah, that was the thing I killed. I know I'm not supposed to talk during the screen. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I forget that even if she dies, I still get the midnight raid. Oh, okay. They really want me to win. We're just going to bank on Viego. Not that bad of a, a game plan to just Kamikaze there and then you go for the win. 
kind of really suits the whole aspect of uh, how when you summon an ally, give a challenger. That's really good for us, obviously. Uh, do, 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 bloody business. Not that bad. I feel like our reputation will be fine because uh, we're scaling like very heavily. So I don't mind going that. What is this purple? Ethereal emitter. Oh, they just want me to win. I I'll probably go down to the blue though. Treasure trove. We can go have some treasure troll fun again. All right, get cooking. So again, I just want Rictus. Like that's that's how I will win all my matches. Cause you have a bunch of Rictus plus like another spell in hand. And there we go, we take it two damage. Racism. That is racism. You're not supposed to attack without me having a blocker, bro. Who raised you? Yeah, see now that's what you get. I don't have room for the five cards though. But so you, you get to skate by this time. But Yeah, just marauder it. I just want you to get thick. Getting that thickness. All right, we can rip the bloody business if you summon something that concerns me. It looks like he's not going to do that. So we will 100% conscription. Conscription. There's a card in, I think, Yu-Gi-Oh! That, uh, that is that same name of that. All right. Um, we do this. Empty out that hand a little. I think we do this, and then instead of conscription, if he doesn't have a thing, I was gonna say we can use the the rally. Super good right now, Jokara. I mean, she doesn't have, she's not base five, right? Plus one, she is base five. Okay, so this would actually pull her. My like my LeBlanc homie, my pseudo LeBlanc. I could go to the Ether emitter, but I just want better stuff on her. Uh, heal, regen might be decent, uh, but I'm looking for that cost reduction, girl. There we go. Play on turn three, or mana three, sorry. Heal, nah, we don't need heals anymore. We cutting, get cutting. Uh, this is never gonna get played in its life. That's fine. So, Joanny, talk to me, baby. There she is, really good hand here. So. No. <laughs> Top deck wars, we in here? Uh, you the one dying. You the one get deaded. Get the midnight raid. I target her so she gets barrier. That is, that is what we are talking about. Look at that, man. Yeah, that's gross. That's absolutely gross. Yeah, you have fun with that. Pick the spell mana, create another one. I'm about to say, if we get public execution, I would just hold on to it. Inscription, make another one. And yeah. And we can give them like overwhelm and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't really know who's the better. I mean, let me let me heal myself. Actually, no. It's just that this isn't this. It's just smarter. It's plus two, right? She's just about leveled. Damn, man, decimated here. Um. This creates a slipstream. Drew another one. Should be open attack lethal here. Not enough harsh winds in the world. I I am like I was expecting something different. I was like, oh shit. All right, there we go. Brash. Attack. I guess to me, honestly, like spirit. Give her more of that D. 
more ways to attack, uh, defend herself, really. Uh, if we get stay, draw, we play some spells, we get some heal. Isn't this the same as the other run? It's like I'm getting the same stuff. Fast deal, that I draw more often. I think the hand space might be a little bit of thing. And I can, if if Warwick with the Jubilant Pro, I have to also go. I can't be no hey. All right. Uh, gorgeous hand. Uh, oh, no, it's not. If Rictus is not in the hand, it's not a good hand. I'm tempted to put him on the thumbnail. I'm sure you did. Word? The, you don't want the freebie? She, I'll take it. He's got to weather the storm with the Jubilant Poro until he does that. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to get rid of these guys. Yeah, uh, the pug is gonna piss me off. Get attacking. It actually, like, as much as I hate the no voice line thing, right? It does kind of help out with, and you're just like playing two times speed, kind of just drone it out. What's really cool is that I can protect with bloody business, so I'm kind of want to keep that open as an option. And conscription, conscription, conscription. Uh, with just doing this, I'll do it. I, I kind of don't want to do it because I kind of want to strike with her, but I'll do it. It doesn't matter. Doing that gives me two blockers with barrier. Like that is so strong. Yeah, you just want me to die. That's exactly what what, it, what it's currently looking like. So you get like really strong blockers as well. And as long as she's getting her piece in, now is there a way to guarantee that she's getting her her love and affection on turn? Uh, sorry, like on the defensive turn. Outside of them just doing like bad attacks, right? I feel like that's the only thing. It's my time, it's my time baby. It should level her. And then we also have another rally that's gonna be uh, from this. The stars! Now, what do you get now? Each time, the first time I kill an uh, enemy, I rally. Okay. So it's like a double rally. Oh, you know what? I could do this. Touch your booty. That causes the rally. Pull the booty. That should cause another rally. Right? Oh! We cooking! Oh, this is. Oh my. Hold up. They can't even block that. Dude! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was very strong. Wait a minute. Uh, more of that. Yes, please. Thank you. I'll take two. Power! Summon a one cost unit. Wounded Prey. Oh, look at that. So when an enemy with plus two health is summoned, deal one to it. So it's actually a power in the thing as well. Very interesting. Uh, we don't have too many one cost units outside of the one you just saw that was winning all day. Uh, so what we roll here? It's cool that this is a thing though, to weaken each unit slowly but surely, but that could obviously bite you in the ass. Creative gains are a little bit stronger, obviously super good, or we could, <laughs> This is funny, right? Because when you attack, you'll trigger it, and then the sand soldiers will get stronger over time. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is not a discussion. Uh, it's not a discussion. All right, so Legion Deserter would get these everywhere buffs, so he'll scale up really fast. It'll be cool to see him. Uh, six costs. I only, only want to buy one. Your credit cards cost one. Yes. Yes, steady. Sorry. Um, so that's really good. Yeah, and then we have this, too. Uh, just for the shits. I'll, I'll get one of it. I don't really want it to draw it, but I'll get one of it. Just because it's funny. So we got a chicken conscription. Rictus is in the building. Diego, please run away. We got Rictus, baby. And Bess is here, but we don't need her. There it is. The best in the game. The best in the game, baby. Stun. Yes. This is so freaking busted. Sand soldiers might be nuts. She ain't lacking that courage. I just want double Rictus. I think I just want double Rictus. 
Because they're not really going to attack if I summon her. Yeah. I figured you'd do that. Yeah, come here. Now we can start Midnight Raiding. I don't even need to pull. I really don't. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. I, I, I should have. I, I mean, no, I, I, that was eight damage, right? I feel bad. Because it really doesn't matter. I could actually just target her with this legionary charge to grow her power to five, and it would actually dodge it. Um, or I could just try to win the game with uh, public execution, which is the smarter play. I could save her, though, if I really wanted to, because of Phalax. And that's just another option that you have. Legitimately crazy. You could definitely try to force uh, Cease and Assist on her by, like, forcing, uh, like, upgrades on her so that she has 10 attack in general. So that is another option that you can go through. Uh, Sundra card. This is very similar. Here, do we have no rerolls? So, boom. Dragon is good. We like dragons. And definitely, we are already at the... Hold on. Let me see. There's, there's these big dudes. You just take out these big dudes. All these spells. These spells are phenomenal. They will know my name. And your name happens to be Grand Finale. Ambassa. Embeza, que beta, la la la. I don't know. Um, uh, we're going against uh, a dead scuba diver because there's no way that she she is gonna be super easy to level. I might even just bring her straight over to the fizz fight, uh, the moment you get the spell mana, and just kind of like sit there and like and just win real quick, and then that would be her her ticket to instantaneous level thirty because she is just she she feels really good. Uh, like I said, work takes a little bit way more setup and all this other good stuff. She is the character that if you are looking to just feel good and then win, I think that's she's the character. It, it especially come on double rictus, let's go. Where is he? I almost I. I'm so serious, I almost want to just throw her back. The fact that, that she has the Midnight Raid. All I want is Rictus, baby. All I, all I want is Rictus. All I want for Drippin' is Rictus stun. That is just gross. Alright. Like I said, he's not going to attack, so... Barrier into, <laughs> and this is a real combo that you'll be able to do. Like legitimately, we'll be able to do that like on a regular basis. I, I just don't even, you know what? Sleep tight, my sweet girl. You just have a good time. And Rictus will will lead us the way. Rictus will lead us to the glory lands. Okay. <laughs> Rictus will lead us to the glory. It's so stupid. Yeah, that card is overtuned, ladies and gentlemen, but overtuned for us. Wow. Wow, what a strong conscription. Conscription with Phalax is get two barriered blockers. Two barriered blockers, regardless of what it is, two barriered blockers is just nuts. And it's they're not ephemeral. They're gonna just sit there, and then when you attack with them on the next turn, that's plus two, plus two for those two units, and then it, you know Legion Marauders is plus three. So it's just like it's that is, oh my god, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. And like, this this is actually how it is. Like like this is, you see this? She doesn't have to do anything. My boy got it covered. <laughs> he's, he's got it covered. My Shadow Clone Jutsu Rictus. It, he's got it covered, bro, and she she just chilled, sat, sat there and chilled. We don't have the fighter version. Like, this version, remember, she has, like, a whole get-up suit that she has. This is her even training him. Look, she's she's pressuring her. Uh, yeah, he's pressuring her. Like, like she, she barely knows what to do. Like, she's smiling, but she's like, yeah, this guy's gotten so good. Yeah. All hell Rictus, all right? Uh, this is the Rictus showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed Rictus, cause yeah, that is that is there's certain there's certain cards in the deck 
that just redefined. Oh, he starts off with a barrier too. He's Lily and Bessa, just better. Cause he starts off with a stun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see if, if uh, does my boy Rick just get anything more? More than he deserves. I don't care what else. So Rick, okay, that's the locket. Okay, so he's going on the defensive turn. This get, goes down to four cost, that's fine. Oh, I'm looking Rick this, Rick this, okay. Rick this, oh. Not, now he's extremely good on a, on a defensive turn because he's he actually has the Yasuo effect because he has the quick strike blade. You play him, he has barrier. He stuns the back row enemy. That back row enemy can't attack that turn if it's the defensive turn. You can play him defensive, you can play him offense. Rick this, Rick this. And you know what's bad? I'm probably saying it incorrectly. Someone's going to be like, no, it's actually like Rectus. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, uncultured swine. Anyway, that was absolutely fun. And Bessa, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, attacking in and killing the strongest back row. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And we're at 90. I know where it's going. I, I Before, I was going to go to probably Samara. Um, yeah. It, it's going here. It's definitely going here. Oh, boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.